Hello everyone, myself Simran from Team Cloud EML and I welcome you all back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I am back with another SQL interview question and today's question was asked by the company in Data Labs. So let's begin. First, before beginning, let's see a quiz. So the question is, which of the SQL statements is correct? Okay, and these are the four options. Select username and password from users. Select username, comma, password from users. Select username, comma, password, where username uh, equal to user1. And finally, none of these. So if you know the question, you can put it down in the comment section. Okay, we will let you know if your answer was right or wrong. And do watch this video till the end to get the correct answer to this question. Now let's look at the problem statement for the question asked by Data Labs. So this is the problem statement which says, write an SQL query to report the second highest salary from the employee table. Okay, if there is no second highest salary, the query should return none. So you will be given a table in which you have the ID and the salary. And you need to return the second highest salary. Okay, so let's see an example. Suppose this is an employee table which has ID and salary. The IDs are 1, 2, 3 and salary is 100, 200, 300. So if you were to see the second first highest salary will be 300. Okay, because it is the greatest among all these three. And the second highest salary will be 200. So your query should return the output as 200 having the column name second highest salary. Okay, so let's see how to solve this question using the MySQL workbench. What we're going to do is first create the database. Data 12. Okay. Select and run. After creating the database, we need to create the table, which is the employee table. So this is the table employee which has the ID as integer and salary also as in and I've inserted these three records as we've been given in the sample input. So select this and run. So you see the table has been created. Now let's execute the query first using the first approach. In the first approach we're going to use simply limit and offset. Okay I'll show you how. First I'll write the query and then I'll explain it to you. Select, select di distinct salary. Okay, we will be simply selecting the salary from employee. This is the table name. Now, order by salary in the descending order. Why in the descending order? Because we need the highest salary. So, whenever we have the descending keyword, uh, we get the highest numbers first and then uh, the lower numbers. Okay. So by doing descending, we will be getting the highest salary first. Limit 1, offset 1. Okay, so what limit will do is, it will only show us the uh, first, first number, okay, the topmost number we can see as second highest salary. Okay, I've written this query. First, let's run this so that we understand if it is uh, right or wrong. So, you see, we get the second highest salary as 200, which is correct. So, what we have done is we simply select the distinct salary, okay, because we want the salary from employee table, order by salary in descending. So, what this descending order will do is it will simply print 300, 200, and 100, correct? See, so I'll show you. What it will do is, it will simply print 300, then 200, and then finally 100. Okay, after doing this, this is for the descending order, correct? After, by, after using the descending function. Um, after using the descending function, we have also applied the limit as 1 and offset as 1. 
So what it will do is when offset is applied, when offset is used to skip a certain value. So what it will do is it will skip this first value. This value will be skipped because offset offset we have set to one. Okay, so it will skip this value and it will consider this two hundred. Okay, and then we have the limit as well. So it will only extract this two hundred. It will only extract this two hundred because we have set the limit as one. So it will extract the two hundred and it will show to us. So offset is used to skip a certain value. If we had given this offset as two, so it would skip both the numbers three hundred and two hundred. Okay, but we have given the offset as one, so it only skipped the number three hundred. So. So uh, this was the first approach for solving this question. Now let's look at the second approach. In the second approach, it is a simple approach. We will be simply selecting the maximum salary. Okay, so max salary as the second highest salary. I will simply copy paste it. Okay, from employee where. Salary is less than select max salary from employee. First run this, and we see we have got the correct output, which is the salary as two hundred. So what we have done here is we simply select the max salary. Okay. Which is this salary should be less than the original max salary from employee. Okay, this this original max salary will not will return nothing but three hundred. Correct. And then see here it will uh, first select max salary as three hundred, but three hundred is not less than three hundred. Correct. So here it will not retrieve the number three hundred. Then next it will go to two hundred, and if you observe two hundred. Will be less than three hundred over here, so it will extract the salary as two hundred and it will print two hundred. Okay, so this was a simple loop wherein you select the max salary for which the salary is less than the original max salary. Here in the inner bracket in the inner uh, query, the original max salary will be three hundred. Okay, so it will compare the next maximum salary first. Here it will extract three hundred. But three hundred is not less than three hundred, so it will uh, not consider three hundred. But then next it will select two hundred, and two hundred is less than three hundred. Okay, so it will consider two hundred and uh, give the output as two hundred. Okay, so these were the two approaches to solve this question. Both the approaches are simple. Okay, you can uh, and for the null condition, if, if if no second highest value is present, it will automatically print null. You don't need to specify any condition or any uh, different query for it. It will automatically print the value as null as it will not get any record in that case. Okay, so it will print null. So I hope you have understood this solution for this question and keep practicing this question. And uh, the quiz that we have uh, we had asked in the beginning of the session, uh, which of the SQL statements is correct? So the answer for this will be the option two. Why? Because as you see in the first option, select username and password, and is not used while retrieving the data. Okay, it will it is used in conditions like where. Okay, so and will not come in this case. So this is not considered as the correct option. So uh, similarly, the third option, select username comma password where username equals to user one. In this query, we haven't specified the Or table name. So from where to retrieve the data? Okay, using the from keyword, we haven't specified the table name. So query number three is also not correct. But the query number two, select username, comma password from users. This query seems to be extremely correct because the columns are also given in proper format and the table is also provided. Okay, so the option B is the correct option. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Uh, like do like this video, share it with your friends, your friends, and subscribe the channel for more such content. Thank you.